Hey folks, welcome back. It's Jay Barino, continuing Life of a Marine, a custom campaign for StarCraft 1, heading into Chapter 4. A dark turn of events is in store for Lieutenant Cheryl. So maybe the plot will start picking up here. I've been saying, I think the writing of this campaign is quite good. Just not much has really happened yet. Okay, Karma. Hey guys, I don't know about this place. It gives me the creeps. Will someone please shut him up? No, I'm serious, guys. I have a really bad feeling about this place. Like we're about to be attacked or something. Can someone remind me again why we have to take Captain Bedwetter along? <clears throat> hey! Okay, shut up, everybody. We took Callaway along because we're severely understaffed at the moment, and this is just a routine operation. There's nothing in here. There hasn't been for a month, so just chill out, Jason. Okay, fine, but I still think that... Did you not just hear me say shut up? Y yes, sir. Okay, then. Now I'm going to guard the entrance while the rest of you go explore, because I'm sick and tired of running around in caves all the time. And Jason, don't soil your armor over it. There's nothing in there. Trust me. <clears throat> hey, Jason, my feet are killing me. You go on ahead a little bit by yourself. Okay, this is going to be bad. Yeah, that'd be mighty nice of you. I'm tired. Uh, um, okay. Poor Jason. Thanks a bundle, man. Oh yeah, he's totally boned. Look, look he's a civilian, he doesn't even have a weapon. Why would you send a, an unarmed man into this cave? That's not, that's not good. Well, what do you see? Uh, a giant skeleton. <laughs> what the hell's the matter with you? I just pissed myself. Skeletons! Over that thing? It's dead. It can't hurt you. Come on, guys. Let's get moving. There's nothing right here. Uh, except a giant skeleton. You're... you're <laughs> I wasn't pissing myself over the skeleton! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, they're all dead, not just Jason. What the hell? I'm out of here. I thought Vertigo maybe was setting them up. He, he seems like a shady character. Two days later! I stayed back here because I was tired of running around in caves all day. I know what you mean. The job description never said anything about spelunking. Always cracking jokes, Lieutenant Cheryl. What? Spelunking. Cave exploring. I think it's more commonly called caving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Anyway, I stayed back here and went on about a couple hundred feet when they were suddenly ambushed by probably 20 or 30 zerglings. Being the resource resourceful man that I am, I bravely ran to the opening of the cave and got the hell out of here. Got some smooth jams going on going on right now. So we all know what we're doing, right? Uh, no? Yeah, I think I f you failed to brief us on that, Jack. Ugh. Okay, here we go. We have 15 charges to set in the cave to collapse it and kill or trap all Zerg in here. We'll have to place them in strategic locations, and as Vertigo is carrying the charges, he'll be the one to set them. All of the men are here to make sure that we're not overrun with Zerg before we can plant the charges and hightail it out of here. Also, reinforcements are on the way, so we don't have to we don't have long before we'll have more help. Wow, a timer in our favor. Look at that! How often does that happen? Uh, never except Life of a Marine. Thanks, Life of a Marine. Oh yeah. Jack? About the reinforcements. What? I think Specialist Cyanide is heading them up. Oh no, that's definitely not good. Specialist Cyanide? Why is that? I've never had any problems with him. They should just call him Specialist Bad Guy. Well, you haven't really seen much of him in the past month or so. He's quite jealous of you. He doesn't think you deserve the promotion from Private Straight to Lieutenant just because Sims got hacked up. He's envious of your friendships with many of the people you're friends with, and he also hates Gutenberg's favoritism towards you. Well, I mean, that he doesn't sound like a, like a bad, like a terrible person, just sort of an envious person. That's quite a list. We'll have to watch him carefully, won't we? Very, very carefully, Jack. I fear he could royally screw things up if he doesn't have a pair of eyes on him at all times. Well, okay, let's get a move on. This cave isn't going to blow itself up. Okay, bring Vertigo to each of the 15 beacons. 15, yeesh. Cheryl, Skillen, Logal, and Vertigo must... Whoops, I don't know. <laughs> I went to hit Alt-S, and I accidentally uh, hit my record button and stopped recording. Let's go ahead and uh, and save right here. I'll have to stitch those videos together now. So we got our typical four heroes here. This music is the music that tends to play uh, during the briefings of Ascension of Duran, if anyone remembers that uh, 
that campaign. That was a long and grueling campaign, wasn't it? Okay, let's take a bit of a, a hit squad here. The, we can leave these fellows here to start exploring up in the other direction. And again, we're supposed to get more... We're supposed to be getting more reinforcements, and hypothetically, they'll be coming with another hero, too. I mean, unless Cyanide is as bad as they say, and he comes in and he's hostile to us. We got Craig Skillen, and everybody's 3-3, too. Wow. Okay, so heroes that are 3-3, three, three, this, this team's going to be able to just smash through these Zerg that are 0-0. Zero, zero. Until there's probably going to be a, a boss or something. So we just want to explore as much as possible with these groups. Okay, so move on up. Medic. Let's go ahead and take this group and just, just explore where we can. Here is that big skeleton that Jason was killed at. Well, that everybody was killed at. So we want to clear out as much of this cave as possible in increments. Okay, well, there's no... There's no, uh... No beacon here, I guess. It's a pretty big map, too, so we're going to be really looking around a lot. I don't know if we lost anything up here or not. We got this is a nice force though. Okay, well we can link up with our we can link up with the rest of our squad. We also have stim on all of our heroes. Yeah, and with the medics, I, I'm very, very confident. Oh god. Oh god, defilers. Okay, everybody stop. And restore yourselves. Restore the heroes. And not enough energy. Where are the rest of my medics? I'd like to go find that defiler. You guys just stay back here and hold position because you're just wasting your energy. And yeah, I gotta go find that defiler so that we don't... Uh, so that that doesn't keep happening. Alright, restore. Restore. And restore. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and heal them up where possible. These two are out of energy. Good work. I also spammed Restore with two Spellcasters. That was a big mistake. Okay, who's still waiting? Vertigo's almost back to full health. Now we got three new medics. Three refreshed medics. There we go. Okay. Let's uh, let's keep this roll on. Again, trying to find that Defiler would be really preferable, but it's sort of skid. I should have just chased it before I was focusing on the Restore in retrospect, but it's too late now. Okay, I should be leading with the heroes. Yeah, get Craig in the front. I'm just going to explore this again in increments. So, like, this group go that way. This group start moving up here. And up here. Just, again, in, in, in small areas. I guess we'll try to explore as much of each piece of the map. Like I've been saying, though. Incremental, right? And that's going to mean, I think, that I want to attack into each corner of the map, basically. I'll try to keep these fire bats alive. They're doing good. Keep moving up. Try to keep as much alive of this group as possible. This hero squad can probably clear the entire map itself, but I'd like to keep my medics alive, all of them, because we need to cycle them around. If we, if we don't cycle them, then they're just going to run out of energy and cause us problems. Okay. And then this group, well, there's creep over there, so I probably want my heroes for that. Let's come up through this small cave. Okay. Okay. I don't want them accidentally going the wrong way. Let's keep going down. Here's one of the beacons. I assume there's going to be enemies in here. No? Okay, let's save just in case uh, walking on the beacon causes problems. Charges set. So that's a Duran. That's a Duran line right there. Charges set. From, uh... Oh, I don't remember what, what the mission is called. You know that mission. The... The Shakura's mission in Brood War. You know what I'm talking about. There's nothing down here. I guess let's clear this out if there is something. Really can't hurt. Okay, good work. Good work, non-medics, I suppose. Now medics get in there. We obviously have to come over here and clear this out where I assume there's going to be units. Holy crap, this place reeks of Zerg. Okay, there's Cyanide. Ah, Specialist Cyanide. Glad you could make it. Uh, Lieutenant Cheryl, I didn't know you were on this assignment. Is there a problem? Uh, no. No problem, man. I'm cool. Yeah, real, real inconspicuous, buddy. Okay, then. Thanks for the reinforcements. We could really use them. Yeah, I'll bet. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Nothing, nothing, man. Chill. What I meant to say is there's lots of Zerg here, and you could use every man you could get. Yeah, this is gonna take a while, clearing all these caves. Hey, psst. Private. Doesn't this dickhole really get on your nerves? Excuse me, but you forgot to turn off your communicator, and I heard that. Do you have a problem with me? <laughs> Smooth cyanide. What? Dude, chill. I was talking about my urinator piece. 
bullshit, Cyanide. Look, whatever problems you may have with me, you're gonna have to put them aside for this mission. Because if you don't, I'm not gonna bother cleaning up the smear you leave on the ground after Zerger threw with you. You tell him, Jack Cheryl! Dude, I'll say it again. Chill. Dude, I'll chill when you learn your place. Cool? Fuck yeah, Jack Cheryl. <sighs> okay, man. Try okay, sir. Alright, okay, sir. Anyway, there are plenty more reinforcements on the way, so if your forces drop below 15 people, you can come get some more right here. Just make sure you send someone to rendezvous with them. Okay, so we'll just leave. We'll leave, like, a fire bat back here to do that. Bring a unit to the rendezvous point. Cyanide now must survive. Okay, Cyanide, you're gonna come up and join this group. And maybe I should split my heroes. This, these fellas can come up here and join my bigger group, because we're gonna be splitting up in this direction. So everybody move up there. Except one Firebat who's going to stay. So now we have a third hit squad with Cyanide. And this group, I'm not sure exactly where I want to send them yet. We have a few ways to go, so maybe we'll send them down here to move in another direction. This is my ultra-powerful group. Basically, if everything else dies, I can send this firebat back to pick up reinforcements at the front of the cave. In fact, we'll move him just a little further back. I don't want to break any sort of trigger there might be. There's an ultralist. Big Craig can handle that. Handle the tanking of it, I should say. Okay, and I'm just going to keep exploring the bottom of the map right now. It's working out. Okay, is there another charge in here, or is this just another dead end? No, but there's like a million ways to go. Alright, let's swing up here. Maybe this will actually link up with my other group. It might. I don't know how Cyanide is compared to the rest of my units. We are 3-3-3, so my, even my normal infantry can take such a beating. This is really all about how much you can multitask, I suppose. Like, how, how much you can try to attack through these caves without... Getting completely disconnected from your other groups and just keep moving with all these different small groups. Oh wait, keep going down here. I just want to explore the entire bottom of the map. That's nothing. This medic doesn't know what she's doing. Infested Terran! Okay, he's dead. Gotta be real careful of Infested Terrans. I just, I got kind of lucky there. Alright, dead end. Let's keep going this way. Good god, there's, there's many different ways to go here. Okay, you guys come up here. Again, I assume this all connects. But it may not. It doesn't. Okay, there's an Ultralisk. We're gonna lose one or two units to this. Or maybe we can outheal it with a medic. And Firebat tanking him with his base plus one armor. Come on. Oh, wow. Yeah, we didn't lose anything. That's big. Okay, move on up into the next section. Okay, it does link up. That's good. Why doesn't this group go this way? This group. Keep going down into the right. What do we have here? An infested command center. Okay, that was unfortunate. Didn't I just save, though? I mean, losing a couple units isn't the biggest of deals. Run away, fire bat. Get healed. Okay, we have a sunken colony up there. We need to tank this with cyanide. Okay, the rest of you get in there to attack him. To attack it. Okay, and a few U units, we're gonna come in and back this guy up. Infested Terran, infested Terran, infested... Okay, well, it killed its own thing. That's fine. We just... I, we did lose a medic, which was really unfortunate. Okay, let's move all these units in. There's the Defiler. Oh, it's burrowed. It's gonna be burrowed forever. Okay, restore. 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 Well, now we know where the, uh... Infested Terrans are hanging out. Not Infested Terrans. You know what I mean. Defilers. I kind of want to just sit on top of it till it thinks it has enough energy to pop up, so then I can kill it. So I want to clear this area out, and then just sit on top of it, so that when it unburrows, it, we might get plagued again, but maybe we can at least kill it. It's a Nidus Canal, too. Interesting. Alright, this group. Let's keep moving. Another dead end, isn't it? I mean, it's just a lot of exploration. Makes me want to use the vision cheats just so that this can go a little bit faster, but I don't want to cheat. That would just defeat the whole purpose of the map, wouldn't it? Okay, and then again, 15 people. This group is going to lose more than my main hero group, that's for sure. I could send another hero, one of these heroes up with this group. Maybe Craig would be good. Someone who can tank everything. This guy's going to die. There we go. Firebats, sorry. Okay, get in there. And all of you move up and attack the sunken colony, please. Okay. Again, Firebat's dying is not the end of the world. There we go. 
Marines dying, though, not the best. I still want to leave these units over here in case the Defiler unburrows and I can kill it. Did I... Why is there a destroyed colony over here? Did I do that? I don't think I did that. Okay, dead end. We'll go into that creep-infested area in a moment. I don't think I destroyed what was up there. That definitely wasn't me, was it? Okay, whatever. Okay, now let's kind of start swinging up to the right side of the map with this hero group. Meanwhile, this group's going to keep just bombing through wherever it can. There we go. Defiler hopefully will unburrow itself momentarily. It was right here. That'll kill that Hydralis Den. Okay, we've got Vertigo. So my other group, without Vertigo, we can't set the charges. So we have to keep track of each one we, we set. Okay, the beacons disappear, which is good. So we'll be able to see them on the mini-map. So... We can attack through that Zerg base or head up the right side of the map. I'm thinking we go up the right side of the map. Meanwhile, this group is going to keep pushing over to the right where it can. It might link up here, or that might just be a separate thing. We just have a lot of exploration to do here. A lot, lot, lot of it. Vestateran, kill it, kill it, kill it. There we go. Okay, gotta focus. You have to focus those down. Otherwise, they will murder a lot of stuff. We if we lose things, it's going to be to Plague, and it's going to be to Infestaterans. And then Plague by extension will kill other stuff. Because what it does... What it does is it's just gonna cost our medics all their energy and then they're not gonna be, 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 to, be able to heal through other encounters. Okay. Looking good. I wonder what kind of reinforcements we get when we dip below 15 too. I don't feel like I need to test it. I'm not messing with my other group right now, mostly because I want to make sure that I kill that Defiler. It will unburrow when it has enough energy, so... That's why I'm, I'm holding out. Attack. Man, all these units being 3-3 is awesome. So we don't have to kill all this stuff, but I mean, I don't know what's at the end of these, at these, at the end of these routes until I get there. So it's, it makes it kind of, uh, not annoying, but it makes it kind of challenging to figure out exactly what we need to be doing. Okay, let's grab. Let's grab these fellas and start moving up here. Yeah, but it, it makes it kind of annoying because we can't scout or anything. You, just, you go, it's a dead end, oh well, then you turn around. So we just got to keep doing this over and over and over again. The medics are constantly in the front, and that's okay because they start with more base armor than, than typical infantry, I think. I think they have the base plus one armor, don't they? Yeah, they do. It's pretty good. Okay, let's keep coming up here. This group keep moving to the right. Get 333 infantry though. I'm not going to I'm not going to scoff at it. It's pretty darn good. I'm going to come down here and make sure that this links up in some fashion. I hope it does. Okay, medics. The medics moving in the front though is actually drawing the zerg from on burrowing, which is actually kind of nice. Yeah, so I'm suspecting there might be something up there. Might be worth sending a unit back to check. Man, it's just one big maze, isn't it? All right. The music has changed. Now we've got Zerg briefing screen music. I guess let's come up here. I'm going to send my heroes in to destroy the Zerg base pretty soon. There's nothing up there. I want to send my units back here just to check. There might be a charge to set in there, but I really don't know. Heroes, we found some creep. There's an Ultralisk as well. Let's back up. Let's back up. Get Craig in the front. Craig and Vertigo in the front is fine. All right, now turn and fight. Make sure that we're healing him up. Craig's gonna be able to kill this uh, this Hydralis pretty much by himself. I'll take care of it right away. Okay, everybody move up. <clears throat> Heroes in the front. Heroes in the front. The fact that we have two ghosts in this squad means we're gonna be able to instant kill in, uh, infested Terrans if they do pop out. Okay, let's take these one at a time where possible. I don't want that other Ultralis coming on top of me if we don't if we don't need to pull both at the same time. I don't know if I killed that uh, that defiler yet or not, but I, I mean, hopefully we did. That would be that'd be pretty cool. Okay, draw him over. I know there was another ultralisk. Get over here. Okay, everybody, back up. Medics, back up. Draw him in. Medics, get up there and heal Jack. He'll be okay. There are a bunch more units in this area, it looked like. And there was a creep colony. Let's just slowly clear this base. Meanwhile, this group may or may not have killed the Defiler. I really don't know. I have Cloak on my Ghost. I could use those to scout pretty easily. This might be a dead end, or it connects. 
Or there's a beacon right here. There's no beacon. I don't know what I expected. Um, okay, so this group, I'm thinking we move over here. There's a charge that we need to set. Let's move on in with this group. Okay, move up here. Let that unit attack Craig. He'll be okay. Stim. Stim. Who is the sunken... Okay, the sunken colony is attacking Jack. That's good. This is going okay so far, I think. Vertigo, why don't you go ahead and set the charge? We'll clear out this whole base. There we go. And again, we'll see how this all connects in some in some fashion. I'm sure it does. Oh my god, Craig, you're my favorite. You're my favorite, Craig! He's doing great. This whole dark turn of events for Jack Sherrill hasn't been that dark, but it's, uh... I guess it's a little dark, I don't know. I mean, poor Jason died. He seemed like nobody liked him either, which is sad. Social outcast gets killed in a... in a terrible way. It's like he was betrayed. Okay, up here. Still totally worth waiting for that Defiler to pop out and try to kill me. I think maybe I got it. I feel like by now it would have had enough energy to plague me, but I, I, I honestly don't know, and it's worth taking the time to wait and find out. So we got like a separate infantry squad here. There's another Zerg base that I might backtrack and kill with my heroes instead. But now I see how this, I'm starting to see how this all connects, which is quite good. Okay, and then this group. Start attacking down here. There's more ways to go up here. Again, we see how this all connects continuously. Ultralisk coming in. Bad news bears. Back them out. Back them out. Back them out. Trading, trading fire bats here is working out, actually. I don't think we lost anything, which is awesome. We didn't. Okay, our medics are probably hurting a little bit, but it, it is working. Okay, we've met up with our other group, so what I'm going to do is backtrack with with these fellas all the way down here to clear out this Zerg base. So here, and then here, they'll figure out how to get there. I'm gonna assume that we have killed, I'm gonna assume that we have killed the Defiler. All right, we cleared this out, we went this way. Oh my God, this is so, it's very, it's easy to get confused in here, that's for sure. Okay, we destroyed that. Let's go left. <clears throat> Let's go left. That's a neat trick. Where does it hurt? Okay. Uh, we're like not even halfway through this whole flipping map. This is nuts. Okay, what I'd like to do, keep a fire bat in the front, use a marine, use one marine, get this guy. Okay. Poor fire bat. Can he take the heat? He's doing his best. Medic keeping him alive? Good work. Meanwhile, my, my hero squad's still moving down to where they need to go. Another Ultralisk. Let's do it again. Hero Firebat in the front. Who did, who did he decide to attack? A ghost. Well, ghost may die. There we go. Yes, got him to switch targets. We're at another crossroads here. This probably connects to this area. I guess let's check. It's like we have to check every time. You have to. Okay, stim these guys up. Just run them in. You guys run in, follow up behind. Haven't lost anything here. I think two groups is solid. I think two groups for this is, is very solid. Big group of hydralisks in here. Healing them up. Big old group of hydralisks. Nobody's particularly low. I don't think we've lost anything in this group yet, which is great. Jack Cheryl, get up here and attack the sunken colony. There we go, and here's another charge. Did I leave science? Oh no, here's Vertigo. Man, five heroes is crazy. Three of them ghosts. Charge is set. Okay, clearing this whole area out. Random Zerg bases everywhere. This connects. Where do we want to send our hero group next? Maybe over here. Maybe we can link up with Vertigo and have, or Cyanide rather, and have them come with us. Okay, this group's going to continue the trek upwards, I think. Or maybe we go left. Man, there's so many different ways to go. We're gonna have to do some- we're definitely gonna have to do some backtracking. It's near impossible to cover all the ground here. There's still 11 left. We've only hit four of them. There must be a lot near the upper left. Okay, and... Let's go here, and... Send- yeah, no, let's send my hero group up to the right, just like I was doing. This group, let's continue... <clears throat> maybe going left? And uncovering as much over on this... 
<clears throat> in this middle section as possible. Might have to deal with a sunken colony here. We want to lure out as many of the Zerg as possible so that we can engage a sunken colony individually. Let's save. We've gotten a lot done here, and I don't want to casually lose stuff. It's an Ultralisk cavern. We'll see if there's actually an Ultralisk in here. I don't know. Okay, you all move up. There's the sunken colony. Okay, again, I want to lure all this stuff into me to kill before going on top of the sunken colony. Okay, good so far. Back up, back up, back up. What are you doing, medic? Well, luring in zerglings, I suppose, is the answer to that. Okay, getting rid of this stuff. That's good, good, good. Very good. Okay, and then medics... Just follow, just follow in the front. And we have to get rid of the sunken colony. We'll do that in a second here. Let's take this group and keep moving up. Good lord. Okay. All right. It's going okay. This is going okay. It's just really, really tedious and long. <laughs> okay. Infested Terran. It was the only unit there. Why did my units hesitate at all? Jeez, oh man. That was close. I should be saving more frequently in retrospect. Three medics I don't even feel like is overkill. Okay, I should, yeah, just save more frequently. Uh, rather than going right, I think I'm going to keep going up this, this section. Or maybe this is a dead end and we can finally start going to the left up this, uh, up this path. Might as well clear out all this stuff. Meanwhile, let's get ready to move on to that sunken colony. Let's go to the right. Hopefully nothing comes out of that Nidus Canal. Okay, medics. Medics, just do your thing. Marines, just hit the sunken colony, please. As my... Yeah, my medics are... Yeah, Marines hit the sunken colony. Medics healing up everything in sight. Thought we lost something, but we actually didn't. Get rid of all these buildings. Meanwhile, still not really sure what to do with, uh, with Cyanide here. His group just isn't big enough. Maybe I want to pull some units from another group to come and help him. Which way? We haven't gone up here. So the left side of the map is wide open still. Let's get, let's see all this connect and bring Cyanide up with my second group. We need we need a Cyanide to tank if there's an Ultralisk. Okay. Go ahead and attack here. You all follow up. Okay, this is going to take eight years and a lot of our medic's energy. Keep attacking here and over here. This group, let's head to the left. It looks like, okay, yeah, it looks like this does connect, which is great. So we can pull some units from my other, my other non-hero group to add to his group. And then we'll have three hit squads, basically. I think this group is actually larger than it needs to be as well. Again, don't underestimate 333 infantry. They can do so much. It's awesome. Okay, so the, the right side of the map, I think I think now we're a little over halfway. This is great. Are you gonna attack or okay. I must have hit move I must have used the move command accidentally. My heroes just don't know where to go. Hold position in. Hold position in. There we go. Okay. Let's get on over here. And I'm gonna keep going up. I guess let's check down here. There might be a beacon. We'd have to backtrack with Vertigo. Yep, there is one right here. That is that is revealed on the mini-map, and then we can link up with this crew right here. So Vertigo is going to have to go down there eventually, but that's okay. We'll get him down there. Or we send him now. Oh, God. Okay. Sorry, Marine. I didn't expect there to be more units down here, but of course there would be. Okay, head on up here, and... Here's a beacon up here, too, so I'm glad I didn't send Vertigo right away. Okay, so we found two. That's good. That'll take us down to nine left. Still not even halfway, but we've uncovered a lot of the map, so we're probably going to come across an area where a lot of the beacons are at once, which is a little comforting, I suppose. Charge is set. That means save, I guess. I don't think... I don't actually think this group needs three medics. I should split them up a little bit more. Okay, let's move up in this direction. Come on now. I don't think there was another direction for me to go, which is good. Okay, another Ultralisk. You guys need to move. Get up in the front here because poor Catherine Logel's taking a lot of heat. Okay, do I could keep going up on this path, but I also need to get Vertigo down there to set the next 
the next charge, or the one of the charges that we already discovered. So rather than going up into this maze right now, let's go left and see how this links up, because it might all connect. And we can quickly get Vertigo down to the other beacon we've discovered, so let's just go this way. Jeez, oh man. Okay, and let's grab a lot of this group right here. Let's just leave the most of the fire bats, actually, because they are less useful, in my opinion. And start moving up and to the left. We see how this all connects. It does all connect. This is good. Okay, so let's go left. Meanwhile, this group, again, this all connects. We want to sneak through here to see... Oh, there's an Ultralisk, actually. That's okay. Oh, and a beacon. This is good. So we can hit this one, then go down and hit the one to the left. Okay, this team. Attack. And attack down here next. And we'll uncover... I mean, we're moving down in this direction now. This is good. Meanwhile, this crew... I don't even know what to do with you, to be honest. Let's send you... Is this a dead end? I'm not sure. We're going to find out, though. And this might be a beacon in here as well. So I've found two more. This might just be a dead end. It looks like a dead end. That's okay. It doesn't hurt to destroy everything. I wonder if anything was coming out of those Nidus canals, actually. Doesn't seem like it, but it may be. Who knows? Okay, this group does have a medic. I'm glad I went down there because it was a dead end. All right, Vertigo here. Then we'll send you down here. Meanwhile, this group is going to continue pushing to the left, like this. Without Vertigo, not a big deal. But rather than focusing on backtracking later, I'd rather, I'd rather keep moving with one group and having him go set, set one of the charges. Hit the Infested Terran first. Okay. Okay, Infested Terran Micro Ho. Well, against Infested Terrans, I should say. That's a dead end. Man, this is... <laughs> it's such a large map, too. Okay, Vertigo about to set the charges. Medics, you're doing well. I guess with the reinforcements, I'm curious again what the composition is like. Because what if you lose all your medics? What if you lose all your medics and then you oh, you get reinforcements of only a couple medics? You know what I mean? Like, it turn, it's based on the unit... Uh, the unit groupings, I suppose. Okay, so this group, what I'm going to do is send you all the way up here and see if you can start clearing out that area. Meanwhile, this group with Cyanide, what I'm going to do is grab one Marine and add him to my small group of units. And add Vertigo to this group, so now we've got a double ghost group over here. Found another beacon for him. That's good. This group... Um, let's go left. Let's go left. And this will put us just over halfway by, by using this beacon. Vertigo, come on down to this beacon. Meanwhile, this group, keep looking to the left. What's happening over here? Did we lose a marine in this group? Not the biggest of deals. Infested Terran first. Okay, what's going on over here? Good work. My heroes are confused. Hey, come on. Go on the beacon. All right. Over halfway now. Just over halfway. Um, let's go down and make sure... Oh, this is a dead end. I should have... I mean, I should have known it looked like a dead end. <clears throat> okay. So our double ghost group is looking good. This group, though, is lacking survivability, without a doubt. There's another base. Okay, this group, let's tentatively move... Let's go right first. The more that we can clean out in this direction, the better, I'd say. Let's go up. This group is, is sort of sacrificial at this point. All right, you guys keep pushing here. We can link up with this group and try to destroy this base relatively fast. If it all connects, I don't actually know if it will. Okay, keep going. Yes, naturally. And I wonder, is there any way to get to the upper right section? Maybe something loops around, I don't know. All right, come on now. Attack. Oh my word. The tedium is real! 
Looks like this comes down and maybe we'll connect up with our other groups. That's my first priority, is typically finding ways to link up with my other groups. Nyx, it's very important. Possible dead end? Oh no, not quite. There's another Zerg base, so let's come back and clear out this. Just to make sure there might be a charge in there, so we have to check. I'm not going to mess with the Ultralisk right now. Let's come on down here again. Meanwhile, this group with my two infantry heroes, let's just go ahead and heal them up after stimming, and then we're just going to run them in like crazy people. Follow up with everybody else. Okay, you guys attack from the other end. Craig getting right in the front, doing great. No infested Terrans in this base. I must have killed that Defiler earlier, which is quite exciting. But I must have. Okay, this is good. You guys head over to the right. Double check that this is a dead end, or maybe it's not. Maybe there's a charge. Okay, it is a dead end. So this is my cleanup group. I think I can't send it over to the right. Or, excuse me, through that base in the upper left. If I do, they won't make it, so. Okay, this was a larger base than normal. This was definitely a larger base than normal. So let's just clean it all out, and this will allow us to cut through and go to the bottom left. Meanwhile, we'll come up here and maybe link up with this base and my other small group. Let's send them up here. We could send this group up to the top here just to see how it links up. Craig in the front doing great. Man, we've uncovered so much of this map. I've been pretty diligent going every which way and making sure, which is good. Okay, so the group. So let's grab this team. That's too many ghosts, I think. Okay, let's grab this team. And this is team two. Let's give him an extra ghost. Okay, so you fellas, you're going to come all the way up here and we're going to clean out that Zerg base from the other direction. This squad is going to keep moving, uh, I think, down? Down first? Just to make sure that I didn't miss anything along the way. I think, th yeah, this Zerg base was one we saw a long time ago, so this is good. We're just connecting all the paths that we found while my other team goes up. There's probably going to be a boss fight at the end of this, too. I haven't saved for a while. Let's just make sure... I'm definitely not below 15 units yet, though. Maybe we can get through this without needing reinforcements. We can feel pretty accomplished. Three medics is definitely overboard. I could send a medic up to my extra cleanup squad. These guys don't know what they're doing. Okay, yep, and here's, here's it's all connecting together now for the directions that we've gone. Let's check to the left first. This is probably going to lead to a Zerg base that we saw. Yeah, definitely. Almost definitely. So now we're going to do what we did up the right side. Go up the entire left side of the map. Maybe we have to go up and around this way instead. The only other way here is there. And... Yeah, okay. So there's only there's still only a select few directions that we can actually go in right now, which is good. This should connect to the Zerg base. Oh yeah, definitely. There's an Ultralisk. We have both of our ghosts here. Get them in the front, or at least just one of them in the front. Okay, all of you get up there. Help them out. Don't let my units get stuck. We need every unit attacking these Ultralisks, because we don't have many Marines. Marines are really the only thing that are going to do... Marines and heroes are the only thing doing significant damage against the uh, the Ultralisks. Cyanide, attack this. Get it to attack you first. Okay, this is good. Let's see if we can kill this sunken colony without drawing that Ultralisk to us. There's a beacon. That's good. Uh, this squad I'm not going to send in because there is an Ultralisk. Cyanide, continue tanking. You seem like an asshole. So let's, uh, let's just lead with you. All of you get in here and attack the Ultralisks. Cyanide's doing fine. Medic, please don't. There we go. Cyanide is healed. Other medic is healed. Let's grab this group and move them up here. Yeesh. Okay. I mean, it's not too bad, but it's 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 very it's just very long of the same thing. It's not uh, it's not really varied. You just have to be careful. You have to keep track of every single group of units that you have moving throughout these caves. Charge is set. Let's go through this very small area. We still have that fire bat near the entrance if we need him. Looks like this will connect to the other Zerg base. Which is great. There we go. I wonder if we could legitimately do like five groups of, of fellas. One group, 
or yeah, one one hero with each group. Because the heroes are so strong, they can really provide. That's an Ultralisk. If we don't have to engage that, I think I'll just leave it. Yeah, let's just leave him. We know, well, we don't know for sure that's a dead end. Let's just get in there. As long as we heal whoever's, whoever the, the Ultralisk is attacking, we should be okay. Let's just keep an eye on him. Yeah, we should be okay. It's, it is a dead end though, in retrospect. You're good on energy, right? Yeah, you are. No, oh, we lost him. Okay, it was a race against time, I didn't realize. All right, you fellas, attack this sunken colony. We don't want the sunken colony attacking ghosts, they're very weak. Okay, yeah, now they're attacking heroes, that's good. Okay, attack into this, and this team. Let's head down into this Zerg base. There are charges to be set in the middle of some of the Zerg bases, so there's no reason to not just check all the all the enemy bases, unfortunately. It's just really time-consuming. Okay, the only way to go is up here. This team probably could use a reinforcement or two. Let's give them a ghost and a marine. Actually, no, let's let's give them two ghosts. We don't need all these ghosts. So let's do this. This team can probably clean up a lot of stuff by itself. Meanwhile, Craig and Jack, my main guys, we're going to attack into this base. But just lead with them. Back up, back up. Okay, and I thought that would draw the Ultralisk, but it didn't. Okay, let's back up again. I don't want to engage in the sunken colonies if I don't have to. Okay, let's get Craig in there. Get my heroes attacking. Okay, very nice. Let's just attack in here. Go ahead and stim. And sunken colony is going to go down. There is a charge down here, so we have a long way to send Vertigo back, unfortunately. But we know where it is, so that's all that matters to me. Um, this, we've checked all the different ways except up. So let's keep going up. It looks like there's no way to get to the upper right side of the map. And I'm comfortable with that, I think. I think there's no way to go. Yeah, so that's good. That's one big portion of the map that we don't have to explore. Okay, you guys. Let's check down here. Here's a charge. Vertigo, just go to the thing. Just go to the thing. Charges set. Okay, good. And then this group just keep looking. Man, this is boring. I'll catch you all later. I'm gonna go run around on my own for a bit. Uh, what? Um, no you're not. You're gonna stay here with the rest of us. I can't have you running all over the place. Psh, whatever, man. I'm my own boss. I do what I want when I want to do it. So stop treating me like a little kid so you can get your control freak jollies. Catch you later. Uh... <laughs> what? Cyanide, get back here, damn it. He just disappeared. Well, what can I say? I told you, he hates your guts. <laughs> what the hell? Alright. Uh, let's check down here. That's a dead end. Let's see if we can kill all this stuff without losing units. We're gonna lose a ghost. Oh, we didn't lose a ghost! Oh, God. Medic, medic, I need you. Alright, just hang out here while you guys get healed up. Let's keep moving with Vertigo's group to get up and link up with this team. Meanwhile, this squad, we do know that there's the beacon still there. That's good. So let's go left. Like I said, we're going to do the same thing, which is go up the left side of the map. Jack, stay in the front. Okay, you're all healed up. That's good. And we've gone this way. We're linking up with Vertigo's group. Which lost a hero, so it does need a little bit of reinforcement. Okay, here is another beacon, which is good because we're right here. So Vertigo, get over there. And I suppose this squad, let's keep moving along the top of the map. So we're going to try to meet these groups up the left side of the map, basically. That's the ultimate goal. And then we're going to start with he with this group moving... Oh, that's a, that's a dead end. Okay. So the only way to go is up here. And there's an enemy base. So let's just kill what we can. Let's lure out what we can, basically. Yeah, like that. Hold position, just kill this stuff. Good, good, good. A vertigo. And this group, I think, yeah, there's nowhere else to go here. 
This is I, I know I know what this is like. I'm sorry. It's just there's no other there's no other way for me to play this. I have to I have to do all this craziness. Oh medic, no! Oh, that sucked. Okay, I think I want to combine these groups now. Then I think we have to because we only have two medics up here. This is what I was talking about though. If you lose too many medics, you're gonna be in major trouble. Vertigo, vertigo, void to go. Here we go. This is what needs to happen. We need Vertigo tanking the Ultralisk. The terrain here makes it a little tight to have to get on top of it. Okay, let's save. It's been a while. I keep remembering to save after a long period of time, which is not great. All right, let's move on in. We need these medics in here to actually start healing things. Got a random big enemy base. Let's go... This looks like it, it's positioned to be a bit of a dead end, so let's go to the right first. We're not, we still haven't dipped below 15. Here's another beacon, so we gotta send Vertigo down here to plant shoot two. So there's two down here, which means there's two left total. Let's see if this connects to anything where we were going, because we, oh, this is, this is literally the only way to go. I see. Good, good, good. Okay, let's, again, go as far over to the left as possible. I don't know what, sometimes when you see that rocky terrain, there, tends to be mean that there's an enemy base or something. Okay, so again, there's two more. I've got units up top that are clearing out... clearing out that big enemy base up there. Let's send them up here. Attack. 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 I don't see any sunken colonies. Just a bunch of zerglings. I thought I heard the plague noise, but it wasn't. That was not what that was. Okay. Still have over 24 units, I think, so definitely very safe. Probably was the music that I heard that sounded like the plague. But it wasn't the plague! So we have five medics total. It's all about medics. How did we lose that first medic? Oh, it was an ultralisk, wasn't it? Okay, there's three. We just have to get Vertigo down here. This will all connect. We just have to take this team and clear out the path to allow Vertigo to walk down here and set all these charges. So I think we'll be, I think we'll be okay. All right, there's an Ultralisk. Craig is already in the front, which is great. Go ahead and stim Jack Cheryl. Allow him to do a ton of damage. Okay, so only we only have to find one more, and then we have to allow Vertigo. We have to give him a path to actually get there. Okay, this was nothing. We can go up to the left, so I think that's where I'll go first. Again, we only have to find one more, so this whole middle section is probably just a big maze of nothing. That's what I suspect. All right, let's get in here. Stim. All right, good. The sunken colony is attacking uh, Craig. We'll clear out this base next. Maybe there's more than 15 beacons in retrospect. I actually don't know. I feel like I've been at this for a long time at this point. I don't know how long it's been, but it feels like it's been a really long time. There's another sunken colony. Get up there and attack it. Okay, good. Again, it's attacking Craig. Sunken Colony goes down. This group is going to slowly but surely wipe out this base while we take our group up here with... Yes, got what's his name? Vertigo. You got it. And continue along the top, I suppose? It looks like this is all going to connect. We're actually already very close. Our two teams are already very, very close together, which is great. So maybe the last beacon's going to be up here and to the left, or this is just going to be a dead end, which I wouldn't be surprised about. Lead with the heroes, even though he's a ghost and is meant to be in the back line. Haven't seen many other infested Terrans. Really could use a a fire bat in the front here, but we're kind of stuck. Could do a little bit of micro to move these units around, but it's almost more annoying than it's worth doing. All right, Ultralisk. Vertigo. Hit him. Let him come in on top of us. Okay, everybody attack it. Meanwhile, this this crew has wiped out almost this entire base. Come on now. Destroy the spawning pool. <sighs> so how's everyone's day? We missed a small area here, but I'm assuming it was just a dead end. I would be really shocked if that was the last beacon. Okay, we're checking all through here. Again, I want to clear out all these areas because we're going to right-click Vertigo to the beacons and he's going to end up running across Zerg that pop out on him, I think. So just so let's just see how this all connects. Ah, okay, no. we. So now we've gone this way. We've, we've checked out all the different paths. This all connects. Might just go and try to clear it out anyway. 
Okay, very good. All right, random Hydralisks. We could also cloak him while we run to the beacons as well. Okay, what do we have here? That's a whole different path. Let's... Those three units I'm just going to leave because I can't really use them to do anything right now. Okay, this squad has been the most effective in my opinion. It's been great. Looks like a dead end. Always got to double check. It is a dead end. All right, so this squad... Can't go there. Maybe up here or up here to the right, which is probably going to group up with this squad. Of course. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I feel like we're almost done. We just have to get Vertigo to the beacons at this point. I could backtrack him, but I'd rather keep a hero in this group. Because there's probably going to be a fight near the last beacon. Of course. Okay, dead end. I, I, You know, I feel really comfortable with the fact that I've exposed the entire map, though. Like, pretty much the entire map. It's, it's pretty cool. I feel pretty good about it. Okay, you're getting healed. That's good, buddy. The medics, obviously, providing huge amounts of support. Uh, okay, we didn't go that way. Pretty large force here, as long as this mar marine gets healed. God, StarCraft 1 medics are so good. They just they burn through energy like crazy. That's the difference. Okay, this group. Let's go right and kind of open up this small area and see how this all links together. Might link up with my small group that's at the remnants of that other Zerg base. Um, let's take this group and clean up the entire left side of the map. And then we're just going to wait like five, like uh, five full minutes basically to make sure that Cyanide gets, not Cyanide, Vertigo gets to all the beacons. That's like, that's like the last task here. The last task! Okay, come on. There we go, and then keep going. And then this group. Let's see where, oh. Oh, there was an entrance through this Zerg base. Okay, so then this group, we're gonna backtrack and go through here. This group seems to have found an ultra list. Oh God, okay, well, sorry, Marine. You really, you did well. You did really well. Okay, now we have a full group here. That's exciting. And this looks like it all connects. Great. So everybody auto attack through here to find where this base was supposed to connect to. Might go ahead and send Vertigo down to the beacons now. But I mean we need him up and up here when we find the last one anyway. So we have to go we have to do this. Might be one right here or that's a dead end. It's, it was probably right there Murphy's law. Um, we're going to look everywhere until we're going to look everywhere. Everything that can go wrong will go wrong. Oh, there a lot more could have gone wrong. That's not really Murphy's Law. Okay, what am I saying? Didn't lose another Marine here. Didn't lose another Marine here. All right, everybody move up. Medic gets left behind, apparently. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, I see. We have, we have too many medics. Let's see if we can get one over to this group. And then we have three, three medics per squad, basically. Oh, medic. Oh, medic. Stim it up. Meanwhile, this squad needs to keep moving. This is prob this is all probably going to link up right here. Yeah, and then that'll get us down to the other beacons. We just have to find the last beacon. Again, it might be right there. Really would not be surprised if it was right there. Okay, it all connects. Here we are. Our squads are together. Uh, okay, here's the last one. Let's just get these guys in here. Meanwhile, all of you... I guess just attack down in this direction so that we can find exactly where everything is. Or c clear out where, just clear out all the different, uh, I don't know why I moved that Marine. That just actually ended up killing him. Charge is set. So we've uncovered them all. And then come on here. And here. And here. And he'll figure it out eventually. Meanwhile, all my other units are just going to auto attack their way through to clear the way. But I think we've, yeah, we've we've definitely uncovered almost everything on this map, which is exciting. Cool. There's only a few extra paths. We might as well send some units in to clear out the whole cave. I'm going to save now in case uh, Vertigo gets caught out, but I just got to remember to select him and cloak. Okay, cool. Hey, we didn't we didn't uncover this, and we didn't uncover this. So let's uh, let's attack here, and then attack here, and that's the entire map while Vertigo runs his way to the beacons. This will give us something to do at least. This will give us something to do, at least. 
Okay, good, good, good. We got some more units coming in here just to uncover this. Man, this map, look at it's, it, literally, it's just a giant, giant maze. This guy standing watch, charges set. That guy standing watch still deserves credit. He did a lot of good work for us. All right, in case we needed him. We didn't need him. We didn't need him, but if we did, he was there for us. Just remember that. Okay, and yep, and this was a dead end, of course. Vertigo slowly, slowly, slowly making his way. When we're very close to the last beacon, I'll make sure to save. Uh, at this rate, it's possible that we killed literally every Zerg on the map. I can't be sure about that, but we may have done it. Besides what's down here. Because I think I've gone ev down every single corridor into every little tiny cave. So unless there was just one that was set a little further back. I don't know, though. There was one that was burrowed in one of these little caves that we just didn't move far enough in to, to force an unburrow. Okay, we're going to save right now, because here he goes onto the last beacon. Your forces are under attack. And, ooh, and one of our marines that was really low managed to survive. Cool, okay. Again, save and last charge. Jeez, oh man. Charge is set. Let's send all these units down there. Well, that's the last charge. Now all we have to do is get the hell out of here and blow this place to the ground. Okay, let's start sending them. Oh, yoo-hoo! While you were getting killed and setting bombs, I found this passageway. Pretty sweet, huh? I'm gonna check it out. Well, that's what's that's what's uncovered up here. Cyanide, get your ass back here with the rest of us. I'm ready. Let's Let's wait and see where we actually need to go here. Damn it, we need to go after him. We can't blow these charges if there's someone still in here. What do you need? Okay. Bring all heroes to the cave entrance. Cheryl, Skill, and Logal, and Vertigo must survive. We have to come all the way up here. There shouldn't be anything in the way, though. Shouldn't be anything in the way. Now we have to wait eight years for our heroes to path all the way across the map. Uh, I'm just going to make a short cut here while we wait. Okay, we're just about here. Most of my heroes are just about up here. Vertigo is the furthest away, but he'll make it. He'll make it. Here we go. Yes, Captain. Don't get blocked. Okay, so let's go ahead and save again and run these fellas into the cave. Of course. Boss fight. Come on, guys. We have to find him in here. I told him I wouldn't bother cleaning up his carcass after the Zerg kill him, but we don't know what's th that that's happened yet. <clears throat> Well, there's some Terrans here. I can feel it. I'm not sure if Cyanide is one of them, but if it's Terrans, we should definitely check it out anyway. Infested Terrans, maybe? Uh, I don't like that. Do you think it's possible some of the scouting party is among them? Definitely not. No way. I saw them all get torn to pieces with my own eyes. They're dead. Whoever they are, let's check it out. Okay, good. I'm glad that the computer picked for me which direction I should go in. Or maybe not. Maybe it's still just a big maze. I was going to say, she was, like, going to path there forever and get stuck and, and the trigger's going to break because she never properly made it to the spot she needed to go. Mother, you didn't even explore all the way down there. You don't know what's down there. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Uh-oh. What the hell is that thing? Oh no. Oh god, no. Infested Callaway? <laughs> it's Jason? What's the matter? Surprised to see your old friend alive and well? Tell me, how does it feel to be on the short end of the stick for a change? I <laughs> like how Jason Callaway is the boss. But Jason, I watched you die. Ah yes, and I was deeply moved by your heartfelt attempt to rescue me. Bravo, my good sir. Bravo. <laughs> Jason, don't. It doesn't have to be this way. <laughs> yes, it does. I think it's a little late to reverse what happened, both to me here and to me when I was still part of the Dominion. It does have to be this way, Jack. Jason Calloway gets his revenge! But Jason... What can I say? What goes around comes around. Karma is a bitch. All right, we're gonna save right away. Okay. Save. And again, music music really doesn't feel that fitting, but I guess, sure. Infested Kalala away. Here we go. And he's cloaked. Do we have anything that would reveal a cloaked person? No, but I can, I can follow him here. We can see him. We can see him a little bit. 
The last boss gave me a little bit of trouble. Okay, hold position. Attack. Okay, so he summons he summons Zoiglins. He summons Zerg, just regular Zerg. Alright, there he is. Hunt him down. Hunt him down. Gun him down. Okay, wow. We, we're going to only be doing a little bit of damage each of these times. Seems like he cloaks and summons Zerg on us. He's down here, I think. Yeah, down here. Okay, so then we destroy the Zerg, and then he becomes visible. Craig is, by default, going to be taking the most damage. So Jason doesn't really attack us. Okay, yes, he does. It's our only chance to do damage. Let's just follow where he is so that once this is done... Actually, hang on. There's a there's a box on my on my screen that needs to be closed. There we go. Sorry, I was screwing up my StarCraft window. All right, just follow him. Just follow him. Attack. Yeah, let someone else do the tanking for a change. Craig needs a bit of a break. Jason's sort of boxed in here, which is great. So when we kill these, he's going to come visible. There we go. So what's kind of cool is this all was done in the original editor. Stop sending me messages. Stop. Oh, my God. It, it just It's just StarCraft 1 specifically because I play in a window. It, it pops up in the bottom right of my screen and causes minor problems. Oh, okay, so he's going to keep attacking me while cloaked. There we go, there we go. Attack, attack. Stim. Let's get as much damage as we can on this jerk. Okay, this is good. He's about two-thirds dead. About two-thirds gone, and we have a lot of health on our heroes. Okay, I'm just trying to keep an eye on him. We, I can see him just barely on the screen. All right, Vertigo back up. Vertigo maybe deserves some responsibility in this, by the way. Stim again. Came came uh, visible there for a moment. I shouldn't be overstimming. Got to be careful with Stim. Is it worth the 10 HP is the question. So Craig does a ton of damage to the stuff that unburrows, but he, again, is going to be taking the most of the damage. Attack, attack. Okay, oh, this is good. Yeah, unless there's a second phase to this, we could probably box him in. So what I was saying earlier, it's kind of cool to think that this was done in the original editor. Which I think is really, really neat. Um, so this wasn't a modded MPQ or anything. This was all just vanilla... Vanilla SC. I think in the original... It might have been done in Star Edit, which is like a semi-hacked version of the editor, but it didn't It didn't mod MPQs, which is neat. Right, get in there. Oh, yeah. Ah, they all clump up. That's nice. Keep following them around. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Might get him this round. Yeah, there we go. Not too bad. Not as bad as the cloaked Goliath, in my opinion. I never imagined that it would have come to this. Me neither. What about Cyanide? Is he here? The Zerg got, him, got to him first. He's gone. Let's just blow this place and go home. You're all clear, kid! Well said, Kathy. Later that day... Uh-oh, I just noticed that I have an extra charge on me. I better go set it. Don't worry about it, let's just get out of here. Well, no. See, all the charges are set to the same frequency, so if we detonate them with this one on me, I'll blow us all up along with the cave. I have to set it far enough away from the cave entrance that the blast won't come out and injure any of us. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Just be careful, okay, Vert? Hey, it's me, remember? I think this person probably just watched Star Wars, all three of the original trilogy, before watching this, because we got two Star Wars references there. That was really fast. Uh, but, okay, he came back with 255 armor. No! Kill them! Kill them all! We have to save Vertigo. Well, he does have a ton of HP. Jack, my cloak isn't working. Hold on, Vertigo. We're gonna get to you. Jack, you can't save me. You can't save me and save all your men. You're going to leave me behind. Oh, and everybody dies. I'm not leaving without you, Vertigo. You have to. You know you can't save me. Go. I guess that's sort of karmic in its own way as well, because he just sort of left his, his teammates behind earlier. So I guess, again, sort of karmic. Is that the end? Poor Vertigo. Oh my god. No. Man, really making use of every square inch of this map, huh? We we did the best we could, Jack. That's all Vertico would have asked for. Too much death. Just too much death. Too many friends died today. I mean, 
I didn't think you counted Cyanide as a friend, but sure. Jack, get a grip. We're in a war. It hurts me just as much as it hurts you to know you'll never see him again, but you can't give up. You can't give in. That's what they want. A as long as it wasn't Craig. Come on, man, let's go home. I think we've all had enough for one day. <clears throat> yeah, me included. This map was enormous, and it was just the same thing over and over and over again. Just hit that victory button right away to stop the music, good lord. I have to, like, talk in between the subtitles, because then the content ID system doesn't pick it up. That's why That's why I keep doing that. I understand it might be kind of annoying. Hey, uh, an hour of six in game means this video might not be over an hour. That's exciting. Hey, this has been Jay Barino. Thanks so much for watching. When we come back, we'll see what the aftermath of Vertigo's death will be. See you later. Bye now.